Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to test out the handwriting and note taking capabilities of the Huawei MediaPad M5 Pro, like I have always done for all the tablets that I have reviewed on my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to use these four apps Wacom Bamboo Paper, Squid, Incredible, and Nable. Wacom Bamboo Paper is the app that I use most often when it comes to taking notes. Before I start writing, let me just give you a very brief intro about the tablet and the pen. Now this is the M5 Pro. It comes bundled with the M Pen, which supports up to 4,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. There is another model, the M5 Lite, which also comes with an M Pen, but it's the M Pen Lite, which supports up to 2,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. Now 2,000 versus 4,000, when it comes to handwriting, taking notes, there's not going to be any difference. The M5 Lite is cheaper, it's 10.1 inch, and this M5 Pro is 10.8 inch, has a higher resolution, of course, this is going to be more expensive. But when it comes to note taking, I believe these two tablets, they will perform quite similarly. All right, let's jump in. This is Wacom Bamboo Paper. There are two things I look out for when it comes to taking notes. The first is how accurately can my handwriting be captured? And second, whether there's any lag when I'm writing, can I write very fast? And in this case, Wacom Bamboo Paper and the pen, they perform quite well. I was able to write really fast and the app can capture my handwriting really accurately. And now let's use Squid. So I'm going to use a lighter, a thinner line. It looks like Squid can capture my handwriting pretty accurately as well. By the way, this tablet has pretty good palm rejection. I've been writing a lot on this tablet and I haven't seen any stray strokes yet, so palm rejection is almost flawless. With certain apps, they have mapped the eraser function to the pen's button. So here it's mapped to one of the two side buttons and you can press on it and it will enter eraser mode. Works quite well. This is Incredible. This is a really nice app to take notes with as well. Incredible is also able to capture my handwriting quite well. Now with this particular app, I cannot press the side button on the pen to get into eraser mode. I have to press the eraser button on the app to erase and then switch back to the pen. This is the last app I'm going to show you. This is Nable. Now this app allows you to convert your handwriting into actual editable text, which is uh, quite cool. So after you have written your text, you can just double click it and it will convert into editable text. And it's able to recognize my handwriting and convert the text 100% accurately in this case. If it's unable to read your handwriting, you can actually go back to erase. You don't have to press the side button because this app supports some sort of gestures which are quite useful. For example, to erase, you just scribble this and those letters will be gone and once again is able to capture and read my handwriting this app does not know how to read algebra though overall i'm very satisfied with the note taking ability of the pen and the tablet and the apps they work really well now this pen supports pressure sensitivity but it doesn't work with all the apps so for example with incredible it may look like there are thin and thick lines. Well, they are, but these are actually not pressure sensitive lines. You can use a non-pressure sensitive pen and uh, words, the letters, they will still come out looking like this. This is actually a style from the app. 
Wacom bamboo paper does support pressure sensitivity so you can write very lightly and you get thin lines and if you press down hard you will get thick lines so when it comes to writing when you have thin and thick lines it really gives your handwriting more character when you're writing you want to look for a tip that can glide on the surface very smoothly because you want to write fast you want the letters to appear fast and this tip here this glides on the surface the glass screen really smoothly so that's great for taking notes when it comes to drawing you will want a tip that is more resistive that has more friction so uh, this is not the best pen for drawing but for writing purposes i think this is excellent so overall the huawei media pad m5 pro is a fantastic tablet when it comes to taking notes now there are some competition out there like the ipad 6 with the apple pencil the samsung tab s3 and the s4 well if you're considering the iPad, I would say uh, get the MediaPad M5 Pro or the M5 Lite because you get a larger screen and not just that, the aspect ratio is wider so when it comes to watching videos, you are going to get a larger viewing uh, area. So when you're viewing a video like this, it's actually almost 10 inch diagonal. On the iPad 9.7, it's going to be about 8 inch diagonal because there are uh, black bars at the top and bottom and they take up quite a significant amount of space as for the Samsung Tab S3 and S4 well writing performance is going to be the same here so if those tablets are cheaper then maybe you can consider them but I think at the price point that this is selling at I think um, it's quite worth the money this um, M5 Pro is bundled with the pen and it costs US $450. Now with the M5 non-pro, they do not support the M pen, so be careful about that. Even if you buy the M5 non-pro and later on you go on and buy the M pen, you are not going to be able to write on the tablet. So that's all for my review. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. I hope this video is helpful. See you in the next one. Bye.